Motor Week is made possible by TireRack.com, WeatherTech, Hum by Verizon, RockAuto.com, and State Farm. These schools are becoming a sport for manufacturers, one I can get behind. Accelerate, off gas, add some steering brake. Look there, straighten the wheel, go to power. Well done. I've spent a lot of time indoors this winter, most likely because it's been abnormally cold. In fact, I just found out I have a vitamin D deficiency, so we instinctively flock to northern Quebec at Porsche's Camp 4. While we will be outside trying to get some sunlight, we'll also be spending the day inside some Porsches. Back uh, about 15 years ago, there was a media event to launch the all-wheel drive system, the C4S, which uh, became a media event called Camp 4S over in Finland. Uh, it was such a great time. Everyone had such a wonderful experience that they decided to bring it back as a retail program. 15 years later, here we are on our fifth venue across the world and in Canada, the second largest internationally. We're armed with rear and all-wheel drive 420 horsepower 911s and some 718 Caymans with 1.5 millimeter studded tires with the heated seats on max. The first thing we check when we get in a car is our distance from our bottom to the pedals. When the pedal is floored, you want a slight bend in the knee. Then you put your shoulders back against the seat and make sure your wrists touch the wheel. This allows for hand speed once you're really pushing the car. Porsche's traction management works closest with Porsche Stability Control, aka PSM. I like to call it Please Save Me because I can tell you numerous times on a racetrack, it has done just that. Out here, we are turning that off. That way, we get us some oversteer. So the beauty about an all-wheel drive, as we're seeing, is right as soon as we straighten the wheel, we can add power to straighten the car back out. As opposed to with a rear-wheel drive? Rear-wheel drive, we have to basically sit there with a lot of counter steer and wait. Like any school, we start simple. So first, we practice donuts on the skid pad and figure out how to stay out of this situation, the dreaded understeer, when the car plows forward and you don't want it to. Then we move on to the slalom. We're instructed to tap the brakes to get traction to the front wheels, then steer the car where we want to go. Perhaps the most important thing that we learned today, left foot braking. Even with all wheel drive, we come into the turn, flick, add a little bit of brake, that way we get more traction up front, straighten out, and then we power out. We're waiting for the car to rotate. While it may look hectic outside, everything inside is timing and patience. Three different levels here at uh, the ICE experience. You have Camp 4, Camp 4S, and our advanced level program, ICE Force. Work your way to ICE Force and experience Turbo S's and GT3's on the ICE. But first start at Camp 4 for a little over $4,000, which gives you a basic two-day course, delicious meals, and a room with a much-needed fireplace. One thing that sets this school apart from others was seat time. I was exhausted at the end of the day. While this is an amusement park for the sport car fiend, coming from someone who's always felt the need to become a better winter driver, I promise you'd be leaving the same way as well. That's the whole idea behind the school, right? Just to be comfortable driving a car sideways in slippery conditions. Good job, guys. Excellent day. 